work towards leadership. Prepare yourself in the way that MD Robinson encouraged you this morning. I mean, I found his speech just fascinating and really engaging and full of so much good advice um, that I thought to myself, I really hope everybody's absorbing some of these nuggets because they're not because, I think what he did was typify or emblemize the fact that young people have a lot to contribute. We have valid views. We, I'm really the young at heart person. <laughs> Category no, whatever now and again it slips out. Um, we really have a lot to contribute to political leadership and otherwise. And I think um, he really inspired me this morning and I hope he inspired you. We need to align the international economic and financial architecture with the agenda because as it stands, we seem to have two parallel paths, one that deals with finance and economics and regulatory things, and one that deals with developmental, human and social issues. And if the two are not intertwined, we'll never achieve them because the agenda requires financing. The agenda requires money. The agenda cannot ignore vulnerabilities of small island developing states like those of us in the Caribbean. The agenda has to take note of it and build it in. So one of the things that Jamaica called for was the creation within the UN system of a mechanism to recognize and compensate for natural disasters. We had a Caribbean Agenda 2030 conference just a few months ago and I was um, honored to have ministers from several of the countries represented here today. And we worked on how we're going to monitor, map, and ensure implementation of the SDGs. But when you have a natural disaster that wipes out your entire country, all the infrastructure, displaces people, no schools for children to go to, no places for jobs to work, to keep an economy going, or for to keep a family going. If it is that the mechanism of Agenda 2030 does not recognize this or compensate for it, then all of the measurements are meaningless, right? So one of the things that we called for as Jamaica was for the creation of a mechanism within the UN system to recognize and address this. Another thing that we spoke about uh, was the issue of our middle income designation. This is not a sexy topic, but it is so fundamental to many of the challenges that meet up. Am I with, am I with past five minutes? I, see I think so. All right. <laughs> so I'll wrap it up and you can ask me questions after. But, um, but that is an important uh, matter for us to look at. The fact is that because we're designated as a middle income country by virtue of our GDP per capita, we're not entitled to certain developmental assistance um, or, or even concessionary rates in financing, which affects us in our ability to create sustainable growth, to invest in catalytic growth, and to, and to provide much of the social services that are necessary for us to actually meet or um, the Agenda 2030 goals. So it's all intertwined and again related to the fact that we're asking for an alignment of these, um, of these goals and the international financial and economic architecture. But the voice of youth is important in this and political leadership is important for this. So it's in, youth are important not only for the role that you play as potential leaders, but for the voice of advocacy and for the work that you do now. So I really want to, again, encourage you all, I won't share the other two pages, <laughs> I want to encourage you all to look at, the, um, look at the SDGs, look at SDG 3, look at 13, look at 14, um, these are big ticket items for us, look at 5, look at um, 8, these deal with health, decent work and economic growth, they deal with the oceans, which is relevant for us in the Caribbean. They deal with climate change, again, that's 13. And three is, of course, a healthy population at all ages and at all stages. Uh, think about your work in the context of the SDGs, because that's where much of the funding internationally is aligned nowadays in terms of um, your ability to tap into NGOs. So I encourage you to think about positioning your projects within the context, even if it is by reference, uh, because it is a good way to, um, to elevate the current relevance of, what, of the work that you're doing. So 
look forward to taking your questions. And again, so pleased to be with you, but not so pleased to have to leave you early. Thank you. <laughs>